Doctor, doctor. Yes, hello. I come back the the hospital. What? What yeah. is it? What is it? And oh, uh, uh, now yeah. I see. Now I see. Bond aid. Yeah, the doctor give me the the medicine. Me dolía hasta acá. My. My machine, my image frozen. Yeah, I feel good now. Is <laughs> <laughs> the color of the skin? The I'm before week. I'm the peeling and um, after makeup cause infection. Uh, reaction. The makeup, your, yeah. Your makeup uh, yeah. causes a reaction in your skin. Yeah. Yes. But, hasta acá, me dolía todo acá. But only, um, only in here. Yes. I'm, um, I don't say, uh, Is the same makeup you always pass in your face? I hard, hard. The same label. Hard in the face and makeup cause infection. Yes, well. <laughs> but is the same is the same makeup the same label from same label? Do you understand? No. No, nothing. <laughs> no. No, no importa. Where is the teacher? I don't know. Do you want me a teacher? Good night. Hello. 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 I think Felipe is from Brazil too. Yes, I'm from Brazil. I'm from Brazil too. I'm from Rio. Rio? I'm from mm -hmm. Rio Grande do Sul. Oh, I have a family in Santa Maria. Oh, really? I nice. have a family in Santa Maria. Nice. Uh, where is the teacher? I'm looking for for him too. <laughs> he's he's a little bit late. Nah, the teacher come back in a minute. <laughs> okay. Bashar, where are you from? From Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. I was talking with a student from Turkey too in yeah. the last class. Do you like it? Yes, like good it? person. Yeah. How speak your name? Watman. I, I said correct? Otman, Otman. Otman. Sorry. Otman. Where are you from, Otman? I'm Jerry from Iraq. I live now right now in Turkey. Turkey too. No, no. I'm Jerry from Iraq. Iraq. Yes. Nice to meet you. It's the first nice, uh, nice first to time you. I met you. a person from Iraq. Mm. Benjamin. Benjamin. Oh. Yay! Yay! I'm sorry I'm late, guys. <laughs> no problem. I am no sorry problem. I'm late. I apologize. That was <laughs> my bad. Have you ever heard anyone say that before? Yep. Yes. My bad. Everyone say that for a second. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs>
All right, hold on. Let me just go ahead and tell the world that we're here. Uh, things are starting. One second, please. I'm you're right there with you. So, why doesn't someone tell me how was your day today? Mm, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Until now. Until now, everything's fine. Until now, but yeah. so now is it is it better or is it worse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm did joking. I, I'm did joking. I, did I improve things or did I hurt things here? <laughs> of course. I never know. It was good until now, and then I showed up, and then man, <laughs> things got all things got all wacky, right? All right, great. Oh, we got Sarah here and Ahmet. All right, so who else is here today? Hold on. Um, now I'm with you guys. Ahmet, we've never met before. Yeah. Hi, right, I'm Benjamin. Uh, nice to meet you, Benjamin. Mm, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ahmed. And oh, we got Bashar. What's up, Bashar? Uh, it's funny because I speak to Bashar, and then Othman comes on the screen. It's like <laughs> Google Hangout somehow knows that you guys are in the same room. <laughs> and uh, we got Felipe. What's up, Felipe? Hello. How I'm, are you? I'm good. You're you're looking very red today. I like the <laughs> yes. You got the red one. Have you guys ever heard of uh, Arrest Me Red? Have you ever heard anyone say this? No. So it's, it's English slang, Arrest Me Red. What it means is when people drive sports cars, you know what a sports car is? Yes. Like a Ferrari, right? Or a Corvette, or a Mustang. I don't know what sports cars are you have in your countries, right? Like a... Uh, BMW, right? But they have when people have fancy, it's fancy fast cars. Is that um, like Vigna? What's that? Vigna? Yeah. So when they have fast cars that you know they can beat around in, there you actually you know what insure car insurance is? You guys have car insurance? Yes. It's when you have to. When you have to pay money to pay. on your yeah, what is car insurance? Give me the definition, Luis. No, uh, you have to pay every month if your car broken or crashy yeah. or stolen. Right. Yeah, exactly. You have to the insurance pay for you. Exactly, you have to pay money every month. To, for insurance that if you get in a crash or an automobile accident that you'll be taken care of. Now, did you know that in car insurance costs more money if you have a red car? Really? Yes. Yeah. The, the paint is more expensive. Right. It's more expensive if your Why? car is red because the, the saying is your car, a red car, is more likely mm. to get, and I don't know if you've ever heard this phrase, but pulled over. Mm. And pulled over means that a cop goes, wow, wow, wow. A cop will, um, you know, stop the car. And by cop, I mean police, right? Cop is police. Um, oh my God. So, so it's more likely that the police will stop your car if it's red because they see it and they say, "Oh, that guy, <laughs> that guy, we got Felipe. He's he's got he's all red. He's trying to show off in his fancy <laughs> car." Oh my god! <laughs> right? And so you have to pay more money. So that's why they call it arrest me red. Mm, interesting. They say, if you drive a red car, it's like saying, "Arrest me, please." Please, somebody arrest me. <laughs> All right. Anyways, where was I? All right. We got Jorge. Hey, Jorge. Oh, Jorge, you there? Maybe not. All right, Jorge, if you're there, you can send us something in the text because we can't hear you. And uh, Luis is also wearing red. I think it's the uh, trend of the day. <laughs> trend of the day is uh, wearing red. 
Um, so I guess I am not trendy. I am not trendy because I am not wearing red. Trendy. Um, but Luis, what's up? How's life? Nice to meet you. It's the first time, the first class to me. Oh. I know you between the videos, last videos. Mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, I never participated. Wow! Class. Wow, now you get to find mm -hmm. out that I actually uh, can, can cause your computer to blow up when I press this button. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. I said I could I could cause his computer to blow up when I when I hit a button, but that's not true. Okay, anyways, nice to meet you, Luis. Glad you could make it. Othman. Hello, Othman. Hello, I can hear you okay. Yeah, I can hear you too. You look very relaxed today. <laughs> yeah, I, like that. I would say Othman, Othman's chillin'. 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 Chilly. He's chillin' today. Right? Othman is straight chillin'. Leaning back in the chair. All right. And we have Patricia, smiling as always. Hello, Patricia. <laughs> Hi. Hey, your um, microphone's working. Great. Yes. Uh, my tone is, is okay? Yes. Oh, it's up. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank Tell you. us something, Patricia. Tell us something. Okay. <laughs> Patricia, tell us something. Tell us something. <laughs> what? Tell uh, us something. Say, what, say something. What, what do you want the topic? I don't know. You choose. Surprise me. Oh, uh, I have a glove. You have a dog? <laughs> oh, you have a ball. Wow, a globe. Oh, wow. Wow. Patricia, point to where you are right now on the globe. Point to where you are. Okay. Um, I live in Buenos Aires. Oh. Buenos Aires. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you live in San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. Wow, from Buenos Aires to San Francisco. Very cool, very, very cool. Long. All right. Well, thank, thank you, Patricia. You, thank you, technology. No? <laughs> technology yeah. is an technology. amazing thing. Thank you. Thank you, Google. Hang out. Thank you, <laughs> everyone, say, everyone say thank you, Google. Thank you, yeah. Google. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, great. And we have Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Now, Sarah, I have to say, I have wondered for the longest time, I have wondered for the longest time, it's another expression, mm -hmm. what, what do you love shopping for? <laughs> <laughs> Your name is Sarah loves shopping. So what do you love to shop for? Uh, you mean what kind of things that I buy or... Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. It's like uh, clothing or accessories. And clothing? Yeah. Uh, accessories. And um, I just and I just got some uh, kitchenware, like the food processor. This kitchenware? Yeah. Oh, wow. So well, Sarah. Wow, you are you are quite the shopper. You do love shopping, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> wow, Sarah. Sarah probably loves. Um, do you love coupons? Do you guys know what coupons are? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A coupon. Well, Sarah, explain what a coupon is, since you love shopping. Um, it's the uh, you you can have the electronic coupon. It's like a code. So when you're shopping at a website, you can put in the coupon code so you can get discount. Right. So a coupon gives shoppers discounts on their purchases. Mm -hmm. All right. So I give you all a coupon today for a free English class. Hey, you got it. <laughs> all right, free coupon. 
All right, excellent. So cool. Um, so today, I actually wanted to talk about a little thing that we call a dream. Dream? Yeah. Dream. Dream. So today's topic is all about dreams, right? I, I want to ask for a second, what is a dream? You can tell me what a dream is. It happens while we are sleeping. Mm. Okay, so it happens when you are sleeping. Okay. A dream it feels happens. like a real. It feels like a real, like, a real life. It feels like real life. Good. What else can you tell me about a dream? Some goal that you are pursuing. Say that again. Uh, some goal, the goal you are pursuing. Ooh, I like that. You guys know what it means? Pursuing? To pursue? Mm. Who knows what it means to pursue something? Mm. Oh, sorry, I spelled that wrong. Hold on. It's actually, it's actually like this. Pursue. Who knows what that means, to pursue? Mm, I don't know. You, no? you follow. You have to follow. You follow. To follow something, right? Let's say I want to pursue um, a career as an actor. What does Keep that going. mean? Yeah, to keep going. Okay. So if I wanted to pursue a career as an actor, what does that sentence mean? Say that sentence both months. Like uh, I can say, I, uh, I'm going to continue in my career. Hmm. I'm going to continue in my career as an actor. But it actually, you're, you're, you're close, but it actually has a little more than that to pursue something. It's more than just to continue. <laughs> doing something. It's partially to continue, but it's also, um, also a little more. What else, what else do you think it means? Pursue. I'm going to pursue a career. Does that mean that I already had to start it? Let me ask you that. If I said, I want to pursue my career as, I want to pursue a career as an actor, it's actually different than saying, I'm going to continue in my career as an actor. You know how they're different? <laughs> Anybody? So it's much to see, see or search for something or... Someone said it. Someone said something. Me, me, Basha. Basha. Raise your hand. All right, good. You're called. It's like, <laughs> it's like a, a seek or searching for something or kind, kind of, of like, like that. Yeah, searching for something, right? You you didn't need you don't need to start it. You didn't need that's the big difference here. You didn't need to start being an actor before you pursue a career as an actor, right? Because I could say I could say, you know what? Man, I'm tired of this whole English teacher thing. I'm going to pursue a career as a professional soccer player. Mm. I could say that. I could say, I am going to pursue a career as, a, as the best football, as you guys call football, but I'm going to call soccer, because that's what Americans would say. I'm going to pursue a career as the best damn soccer player <laughs> in the world. And to insist? Yeah, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to aim for that, right? I'm going to strive for that. I'm going to reach for that. I'm going to make that my goal. Right? To pursue something. I'm going to, to, to chase it. 
I'm going to follow it. Right? I'm I want I it. Yep. Ricardo, are you there? Oh, hello, yes. hello Ben, sorry. There yes. you are. So uh, desire, so go after, right? Mm. Yes. Ooh, exactly. I desire it. Right? So I go after it. Now, something that I've always thought is really interesting is that a dream, right? When we think of a dream, it actually has kind of a few a few different contexts, right? A few different meanings. One of them is, you know, when we sleep. Right? When we sleep and you're sleeping and then all of a sudden something is happening. Right? And as you said before, it feels real, right? It feels real. You feel like this is happening right now. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you might wake up. Right? And it's gone. But there's another type of dream which is different. Which is, you know, maybe it's when you're awake. Right? How many of you that would you say that you have a dream to be a fluent English speaker? Yes. <laughs> Who here has a dream to be a fluent English speaker? Raise your hand if you have a dream to be a fluent yeah. <laughs> English speaker. Right? Wow. So you all have a dream, but you're you're awake. Right? You're awake. You you're dreaming, I guess. But you're not sleeping. How can that be? How can that be? What kind of dream do we have when we're not sleeping? Someone tell me, someone tell me a dream that you have. I already got, I already got one. Almost all of you have a dream to be a fluent English speaker. What's another dream that you have? My dream is travel around the world. Oh, my dream is to travel around the world. Right? What's another dream that someone has? Mm, work for NASA. Yeah. I <laughs> dream of working for NASA. Who knows what NASA is? You guys all know? Why don't you explain what NASA is, Ricardo? Well, NASA is, you know, astronomy, right? So NASA is the most, uh, most advanced, uh, how can I say, company in the world when it comes to astronomy, right? So they basically have that spaceships that goes to moon that now they just sent the Curiosity uh, spaceship to Mars. And so basically they explore the universe, right? Yeah, they explore the universe. So it's actually not a company, it's an agency, is the word that we would use in English. So it's not a company, it's a, a, it's a branch of the, gov the U.S. government um, that focuses on space exploration, right? And yeah, so okay, so Ricardo has a dream of working for NASA, right? What's another dream that someone has? We have traveling around the world. We have working for NASA, being a fluent English speaker. Ahmed, what do you dream of? Uh, my dream is uh, having a good job. Having a good job, right? Yeah. All right, Patricia, what, what's a dream that you have? I have many dreams. <laughs> I am ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, tell us uh, one dream. One dream. One dream. Uh, for example, um, I like work in the company. Um, in the comp in the I like in the work company with with people 
open man I, I have a dream the exit in my life so you have a you have a dream to work in what kind of company tell us about the company that you dream of working for for example in company uh, who value the the strive uh, for, revenue <laughs> for a company who values uh, what um some company who um who focus value and um, and the strive and the good work the people cool so a company that wants to make things better for people right a company that wants to mm. make things better is that right no no <laughs> okay well type it for us type it for us so we can because maybe I didn't hear right um, yeah, so. yeah, but not for the people. You know. In company, in company, over work, work a team. Um, in Argentine, having having company, I think a great company. Having I'm a only working. Real company, the company is American. Bef before, when I worked in other companies, my experience not good. Mm. Mm, okay. Um, okay. So you also dream, dream of having a job for a company you love, right? You dream of having a job you love. Right? A job yeah. you wake up excited to go to work for, right? So, Sarah, how about you? Tell us about a dream and don't tell us it's, it's shopping. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, so my dream is to own a house. Mm, my dream oh, is shopping. <laughs> to own a house, right? Cool. So, we all have dreams. Right? We all have dreams. I have a dream too. I have a dream to make, uh, I have a dream to make it, to make learning English easy and fun. Right? I have a dream. That's my dream. That's why I, I do Colingo, right? Because I have a dream to make anyone, to give anyone who wants to learn English the ability to learn English, to make it accessible. For people. You are good at uh, your job, I think. What is my job? Uh, you are good at your job, I think. Oh, I am good at my job. Why, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, anyways, right, we all have dreams. We all have yeah. dreams. But I want, I want us to think about what does it mean to have a dream? What does it mean? What does it mean to have a dream, right? Because we have those two types of dreams, right? Two types of dreams. Are they related? Are they totally separate? What do you think? The dreams when you're sleeping that seem like they're real life, but then you wake up and poof, they're gone. And then you have the dreams that are with you all the time, that are very real, that aren't, that don't go away. Are they, are they related? Is there a connection? Why is it the same word? It, it happens in, in brain. Oh. Understand? So it happens in the brain. Tell us more. Tell us more, Ahmed. Yeah. Uh, when you wake up or sleep, uh, your brain is working. Uh, you want something. Uh, yeah. 
Tails and Brain. I like that, right? It's in your, it's in your, it's in your head. It's in your your imagination, right? So when we think about a dream for a second, right? Uh, oh, go ahead. As, as I know, uh, we have a dream when we sleep. Uh, uh, two souls. Two souls. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce mm -hmm. Our problem. Understand? We have dreams. I thank you. That's great. We have dreams. And the, the reason we dream, right, the reason we dream, is what you're saying, is to solve our problems. The reason we dream is to solve our problems. Now, how, how is that possible? How is it that when I'm dreaming of flying across the ocean, how is that solving my problems? Right? Uh, or when I when I dream when I, I dream go ahead. As I know I, I read it. Uh, if uh, we think about a uh, problem uh, will happen tomorrow uh, much, uh, yeah. we we have dream more than usually. So we dream more than usually. When do we dream more? Uh, when uh, when uh, if we think uh, we have a big problem tomorrow. So we dream more than usual yeah. when we have a problem. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting, right? So what are some of the things that make up a dream, right? What are some of the things that make up a dream? If I give you the, here, let me give you the definition of a dream, right? This is from Wikipedia. The definition of a dream here, dreams are successions of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that occur involuntarily in the mind during experiences of sleep. You think that's a good definition? Yes. Yes. Why? What do you think about it, really? I, I can't. I cannot hear you. What do you like about the definition? Why do you think it is good? Just a second. What? So I asked, why do you like that definition? Why is that a good definition of a dream? Because <laughs> it is. it is a good definition. I don't know why. Because I haven't, I haven't another one. Because you don't, because you don't have, because I don't. Because I don't have, because I don't have another one. Right. Okay. Good. That's a good answer. <laughs> Does someone else have a different opinion? Does someone else not like this definition of a dream? Hmm. Well, uh, I agree with the definition, right? So basically, I think that dreams are what we have in our minds, right? So. If you keep thinking about new things, so you, if you focus, for example, uh, Ahmed, Ahmed told us that when you have a problem, uh, usually you dream about that problem, right? So basically, the dreams, uh, when we are uh, sleeping, uh, our brain just get everything that we have in our mind, and the things that we have more, more uh, how can I say, present, more if things that we think more about, uh, are, are more, uh, it will happen to be there in your dream, right? So that's what, what dream is for me. Oh. The things that happen to be on your mind are more present. Very interesting. Do you guys know what I studied in college? What? Psychology? Uh, close. I actually studied a thing called neuroscience. Neuroscience. Does anyone know what that is? So neuroscience, let's look at the word, right? So you all know what science is. Yes. Right? You all know science. And then it's neuro. What do you think neuro refers to? Neuron, the connecting in the brain. Yeah, neuron, right? The cells of the brain. The cells 
of the brain, right? A cell is, it's the little, the tiniest part of your brain, right? So neuroscience, what do you think it is? It's the science of... It's the science of communication with cells transmit no, other cells. The, the, the neuroscience study the communication in the humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the science of what we call the nervous system. Or you could say it's the science of the brain. Uh, yeah. Right? And there's a lot of interesting things that go on when we sleep, right? So if we look at this article about dreams for a second, right? One of the things it tells us is that dreams mainly occur. What does it mean to occur, by the way? I don't know if you guys know that word, occur. Happen. 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 Exactly, right? Occur means it happened, right? So dreams mainly occur in the rapid eye movement, REM, stage of sleep. Does anyone know what that means? What's the rapid eye movement? No. I think it's when you're, you're dreaming of the, the second it's a stage level of, of conscience. Yeah. It's a conscience level. A level of consciousness. Consciousness. Everyone try and say that. Consciousness. 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 Of consciousness, right? A level of consciousness. Consciousness. Okay, hold on. Let's let's talk about that for a second. What is consciousness? What on earth is consciousness? Say that again, Sarah. I heard. I heard a. When do I wake up? Yeah. Oh. When do I awake? When you are awake. Right? When you're awake, you're conscious. But are you, so I have a question. Are you awake or are you conscious when you're sleeping? No. I don't think so. No? You're not conscious when you're sleeping? I don't think so. No? Hmm. In you know? a minimal level. On a minimal level. On a minimal level, you're conscious when you're sleeping, right? Interesting. So it's kind of like, it's a, what we would call in English, it's a gray zone. Have you ever heard anyone say this? It's a gray zone, which means, yeah, it means like, it's sort of in between. We can't really say yes, and we can't really say no. It's not a, it's not a binary uh, question. What does that mean? What's binary? Yes or no. Exactly. Direct, direct to answer. Right, yes or no. There's only, there's only two options. Right, Carlos? Right? Now, in a gray zone, it's, there's many options. Right? There's no clear answer for what something is. So, rapid eye movement, to go back to that for a second, it's a time during sleep when your brain activity is high and it resembles that of being awake. When your brain activity is high and it resembles that of being awake. Ahmad, what does this sentence mean? What does this mean? Uh, I I don't know. I try to understand. Okay. I I don't have any idea. Sorry. That's okay. No problem. Carlos, are you with us? Yes. Hi, Ben. Hey, how's it going? Can you tell us what this means? What does it mean um, that REM sleep is when brain activity is high and resembles that of being awake? My difficult in this in this phrase is resembles. Ooh. I understand brain activity is high and 
being awake, but resembles is my difficult. Okay. Okay, good. That's a good one. Who can, who can answer that question? Lauro, do you know what resembles means? Um, it's like something. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like something. It's like something. So, Carlos, when something resembles something else, it's like something else. So you could say that, um, you know, uh, my, my glasses resemble Carlos's glasses. Okay. Maybe not. It's not really actually true. <laughs> okay. my, my glasses do not resemble Carlos's glasses. Um, so if, brain, if, if it's a point where brain activity is high, and it resembles that of being awake. By the way, have you guys ever seen this kind of grammar structure before? Resembles that of being awake. It's a weird grammar, isn't it? Yeah. What does that mean? It looks like being awake. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to rewrite this sentence, just so I'll make sure everyone understands it, right? So REM sleep is when brain is, so that's what they said. And now let's, Carlos, can you rewrite this in easy English? Rewrite? Yeah, rewrite it in okay. easy English for a second. It's like, it, wait a sec, I, I don't know how to say, I type slowly. You're, you can say, I type slowly. I type slowly. Good. The two level is similar in about the brain activity. Wait, okay. one yeah. second. Okay. So, REM sleep. Right? It's when brain activity is high, and it's, it's similar to when you're awake. Right? We can, it's, 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 it's similar to when you're awake. So don't be intimidated. I don't know if you guys know that word. Right? Intimidated, it means scared. Right? So don't be scared by those strange grammar structures like that, because they're not a big deal. But anyways, I want you to get back to dreams, right? Now, dreams, if we go way back in time, right? You know that in the past, people used to believe that dreams were messages from God? That a dream was a message from God? Or people believe that dreams were from the dead? From what? From the dead. The other side. Yeah, the <laughs> other side, right? <laughs> that dreams were, were a message. Do you, do you think that? Have you ever had a dream that you thought was a message from God or a dream that was a message from uh, someone who was dead? Have you ever had anything like that? I believe in that. You do? Tell us. Uh, well, in the Bible says that uh, many persons uh, get, for example, uh, uh, the father of Jesus, uh, uh, he received a dream where God said that she, he should go to other cities oh. to move on. Oh. Uh, well, there are a lot of stories about that, and I think that they are true, but that don't mean that always all dreams are message from God. So not so you don't think every dream is a message from God, but maybe some dreams are some a message. Yes, special occasion yes. or a special person. Oh, interesting. No, I believe to. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us. I believe it too. I I I think. It, Kind of uh, help or advice for for someone from other side or or some parents 
who who dead, who help us. I believe in it. Oh. Some kind of dreams is like it. No, not all, not all, but some kind of dreams tend to be it. So you believe that some kinds of dreams might be from God, right? Some kinds of dreams might be from God, but some kinds of dreams might just be dreams, right? They might just be from dreams. Now, okay, so some people also actually went ahead and uh, believe in dream interpretation. Have you ever heard of this? Dream interpretation? Yes. Yeah. What is dream interpretation? What does it mean to interpret a dream? To try to understand what understand? the dream means. Oh. To try to understand what a dream means. Have you guys ever heard the word symbolism? Yes. Yes. What is symbolism? What's a symbol? It's, it's uh, an icon. An icon? Pictures. Pictures, right? So you could say it's something that um, is. How do I describe symbolism? It's something that isn't actually. The symbol has a related meaning to something. Yeah, that's good. The symbol has a a bigger meaning, right? Right? It, it's not what it actually, it's not what it appears to be. This is another, another phrase in English you'll hear frequently. It's not what it appears to be. It's mm -hmm. something more than what it appears to be. Something more than what it appears to be, right? Now, Let's go ahead and think about this, right? Have you guys ever heard of Sigmund Freud? Do you know who Freud is? Yes. Who is Freud? The father of uh, psychoanalysis. Not psychologist. It's like psychoanalysis. psychoanalysis. Who's from Argentina? Anyone from Argentina should know who Freud is. I've heard, uh, I've heard Argentinians get more psychoanalysis than anyone else in the world. Really? This is, I, I read an article in the New York Times that said Argentinians on a per capita basis, on a per capita, do you know what per capita means? No. Yes. Get more, what is, our, what is explain what per capita is, please. It's like... <laughs> To one people, it's like I I don't know how to say in Portuguese, but it's like in I don't know how to explain. You can explain it. <laughs> You're gonna explain psychoanalysis. It's it's when you are analyzing the um, analyzing psychology. Right? So you're saying that you're saying that it's it has to do with symbolism actually. It's very tied together. It's very closely tied with symbolism. Where you say that, you know, you said this. So that actually means that you were thinking about something else. Right? So often with dreams, right, there's actually books and there's guides that you can get. So one type of dream is that you're flying very common. It's a theme in dreams. Another word for a theme, by the way, is a motif. Motif? A motif. That's a literary word. It's a, wor a literary word. I actually learned that from reading Borges, who's an Argentinian writer. So dreams are always very tied in my mind with Argentina. Sorry, Brazil. I'm sure there's some... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are some good reasons why dreams are also big in Brazil, but I know more about them than Argentina. Um, no problem. 
So anyways, flying, for example, right, is a common theme in a dream, that someone's flying. And if someone was doing psychoanalysis, right, they would say, they would say the fact the fact that you were flying in your dream meant that you want to escape something. And I, of course, I, I have to stroke my beard when I talk about <laughs> dreams. That makes me feel like a proper psychoanalysis. <laughs> right? <laughs> so they're looking at every symbol. And in Freud, for example, he explained dreams as manifestations of our deepest desires and anxieties. What does that mean? That Freud explained dreams as manifestations of our deepest dreams and anxieties. Deepest is uh, two inside.